Basically, um, we were involved uh, with our client uh, to design student housing. As you know, in many uh, cities around the world, there's a lack of student housing in the inner parts of the cities. So the idea was to place uh, housing on uh, barges. Uh, and basically, so we started uh, this sort of research, and this is, of course, not the first time this has been done before. Uh, one of the uh, key factors here was to use shipping containers because you can basically ship your homes anywhere in the world very easily and build up your little uh, city. So basically the urban rigger, as we call it, consists of nine urban riggers that are uh, configured in this uh, rotational uh, configuration that allows for a sort of a ground floor circulation from uh, urban rigger to urban rigger. And higher up you'll have sort of internal views into the courtyards but you will also have views of the surroundings. Um, so it, essentially it's like a pontoon out of concrete, nine urban riggers on top, and then some steel frames that keeps everything together. Um, so essentially it's the home for the student, the block or the small community, and then you have the bigger neighborhood if you start clustering the urban riggers. So for the project in uh, Göteborg or, or Gothenburg in Sweden, uh, one of the things that happens around in, in the world is that the, the harbors are being abandoned, uh, which then starts freeing up uh, very valuable land, uh, but also uh, uh, sort of harbor water. And uh, in the competition pitch, we had to create a houseboats and at the same time create a connection between these two neighborhoods uh, on the two shores and with the urban riggers we could sort of establish this uh, ground floor route but at the same time also create this uh, green uh, garden walk uh, on the roofs of the urban riggers and of course these urban riggers can be configured in uh, many different configurations um, and this is the proposal that we did for uh, Gothenburg in Sweden <coughs> Here you see the, how they create these sort of inner pockets of water and larger areas where you could go sailing and so forth. Um, we plan to roll it out in phases, in three phases. Phase one, phase two, and phase three, which basically is an endless configuration. And because they are boats, you can reconfigure uh, the, the system uh, uh, you know, uh, during a few years. They don't require heavy sort of planning process because essentially it's just a boat. Uh, so here are the urban riggers laid out in the uh, Gothenburg Harbor. Each of the small uh, urban rigger will have its own sort of ladder to climb in and out of the water. The water is so clean you can swim in it in, in Gothenburg. Um, on the roof we create this passage or the green park that connects all of the different uh, 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 urban riggers. And of course this uh, urban rigger is packed with uh, technology. Uh, it's a zero energy building. We actually uh, produce more energy than we um, than than we take from the surroundings. We have a, a hydrothermic heating that works exactly like ground, uh, like uh, earth uh, heating, um, and we use a little bit of the uh, the energy that we create from the photovoltaic panels to drive the pumps. And this can basically heat up this entire little complex that consists of 16 apartments for students. And some of them are duplex apartments, so you can basically be around 20 people here. Um, we have a very uh, high efficient uh, insulation inside. And one of the key factors is that because we're using shipping containers, we can recycle or cycle up the containers, which means that instead of of crunching it, melting the containers into new containers. We take old shipping containers, uh, which then allows us to spend one twentieth of the amount of energy to produce these uh, houses. Um, when one, uh, because they're having a party here, um, this one doesn't have energy enough, they're all connected so that the rest of them can sort of feed into this little ecosystem of containers. So these, oh Jesus Christ, then I'm gonna just fly through here. Uh, we see some plans. We are in the process of building the first uh, prototype of this. Uh, 
here are some of the images. Um, <clears throat> so you see here, we, we are, are now uh, shipping one of them or sailing one of them to Copenhagen Harbor next month. Uh, this is uh, from the construction site uh, that we have right now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we rush towards the end there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>